Hey, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good late night, good whatever time you're watching this video on. Welcome to the first ever Pipe Dream speed run. And a speed run is when we create a workflow on Pipe Dream in less than five minutes. Since this is the first ever Pipe Dream speed run, I figured we'd make it a little bit meta. So we're gonna create a blog post every single time we write a speed run, you know, example. But it'd be really cool if we automatically posted that URL in the title of the blog post to Twitter, to our official Pipe Dream account without any code. And let's go ahead and get started. So here's a brand new Pipe Dream workflow that's completely empty. There's nothing triggering it. There's no actions coming off that trigger. And we're gonna go ahead and look at the blogging platform, which is Ghost. We use Ghost as our CMS. And here we will publish our blog posts and we'll need to notify Pipe Dream whenever a new blog post is created. And the easiest way to do that is to go to the integrations panel and use the custom integration, which allows you to define webhooks on certain events. To show you what I mean about that, we can create a new webhook here. We can call it on new posts and we can select the event whenever a new post is created. Well, better yet, new post published. That makes a lot more sense, right? Whenever the post is published, that's when we care about notifying um, all of the people following our Twitter account that a new po post is published. And we need to give it a target URL to send a HTTP request every single time a new post is published. To do that, we need to go back to Pipe Dream. We need to create a webhook URL to accept these requests. And we just copy this value, use this little link here, and then we can just paste it right here. And voila. So now whenever a new post is published, Ghost is going to go ahead and send an HTTP request to the Pipe Dream workflow via the URL we just defined. And let's go through here. Let's select, let's create a new post. We'll call it testing123. This is a test post. And we will go ahead and make sure that the URL, it's listening for new events. As soon as we publish this, hopefully we will see a test event come into the workflow, which it does. So here we can see exactly the data that Ghost will provide to the workflow whenever a new, new post is published. And here is the body of the request, the post. Now we're getting to the actual Ghost data, the post, the current post. And look, there's some HTML, there's a uh, plain text and here's the slug and the title perfect <clears throat> so we can use this to actually create the twitter action i'm going to go ahead and scroll down here so now that we are successfully receiving on new blog post events we can go ahead and we can use twitter to one of our pre-built actions on, on twitter to post a tweet i'm going to go ahead and select one of our accounts pipe dream test is our testing account. And this is this status is the actual tweet going out. And using our nice little selecting interface here, I can go down to the steps, to the trigger, which is our HTTP trigger. We can go into the event, the body, post, current, and get the title of the post. It probably would be nice to share with people. Click select path to have that specific data path inserted into the field. So now we'll have the title appear right here in the tweet. Probably would help to add a little bit more context, like uh, maybe new blog post. And then we could put the title there for people to know what the title is. And then it probably would be helpful to have a link back to the blog post. So folks have a point way to, to follow the link and read the actual blog post. And luckily, I believe they put that right in the data. They do. So to inject this URL, you just click select path. And now it will automatically place the URL in the tweet. We can click save to save our work. Click deploy. And now, hopefully, so there's no tweets on our tw test account yet. Let's see if rerunning this event we uh, listened to, we, we caught earlier, will send a tweet. So we're going to replay it. We can see that. Twitter did run, and hopefully we'll see a new tweet.
sweet here. Huh, cool. So now we have a new workflow that will automatically send tweets from Ghost to Twitter automatically. Very fun. So that's the end of our first ever speed run. Looking forward to doing many, many more with you. See ya.